What's up, everyone? We're back with another reaction. We're here with episode three of Star Wars Visions, and um, I'm excited to keep these going. You know, um, it's been fun. The first two were were pretty exciting. The second one was a little a little different, but I still enjoyed it. And uh, I'm really excited to continue. Like I said, I did not expect for them to drop all nine episodes or all the episodes today. So that really did catch me off guard. But I'm still excited. We're going to try our best to bang out as many as we can today. It was not what I expected to do today. But we don't have much going on. We are, uh, you know, slowing down on a lot of our shows. So um, it's fine. We're going to try to finish editing Lucifer. And on top of that, I'm going to try to film a, a Halloween reaction tomorrow. And we've got a whole bunch of things to be excited for. So again, I want to say thank you to all of you. You guys have been great. And I'm excited to drop more content for you guys. So if again, again, if you're new, remember, check out my socials. It really does help. And uh, full reactions will be on Patreon. I'm really excited to get this started. So let's get busy. Episode 3 titled The Twins. Star Wars Vision. You know, I always look forward to seeing the animation style and all the new episodes. Because, you know, they're made by each, you know, the different uh, studios every single episode. So look forward to it. Is that a Star Destroyer? Ooh. All right. Uh, ex okay, never mind. See, the, the, they're able to just do some crazy stuff, and they're super unique with it, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of this. Alright, man. Master Ant, I'm looking forward to this. All of the final adjustments on the Gemini class Star Destroyer will finally be able That's to a unique you helmet. Your mission. It will easily be capable of destroying a planet. Alright. Any resistant star systems. We haven't seen this However, before. <laughs> the humble servant to you and your brother until the day my function ceases. It definitely has given me that Star Wars vibe. Now let's surprise those peace-loving republics. A little more insane than uh, the last episode where it was like a whole rock vibe. This just feels like Star Wars, you know? Only Master Am and Master Kari can access the reactor core chain. Oh, is her twin? Oh. Everything's gonna be fine. They won't find us. So we see like a good guy? They won't find us. Please return the power core. This is your last warning. Oh, he ain't afraid. I love it. What? Oh, okay. Don't give up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. At least he's apologetic. The ship is right where we left. And I love the droids. Like we've already seen different types of them so far. Pretty awesome the styles. Galaxy far, far away. Ah! He said the thing. Oh shoot. Alright. What do you want with the power core? You won't hand it over, then I'll take it by force. Ah, alright, here we go. Oh, we got a little X-Wing over here. Damn, bro. <laughs> it's so cool to see it in this, you know, it, in this kind of, you know, animation form. You know, I'm struggling with the words. It's amazing. That's pretty dope. Ah, oh, I love the colors, man. <laughs> They're about to destroy that thing. Yo, it's cracking. Damn, oh, they broke it into two, it looked like. Ah, oh, shoot. My future? I don't believe you. How come you can see it and not... Ah, oh, this is actually really cool. Why? You would have never listened to me. Sounds about you, right. You are stubborn, man. <laughs> She's not even phased at all, bro. She's dead ass laughing. Do you think I fear death? No, don't. Wow. She's Even crazy. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Kari, if you really want to save me, then go ahead and try oh, that's to dope. Me. How can he breathe in space? Oh man. It's so different seeing it like this. I'm loving it though. It's like we're able to see Star Wars in a whole new light, but it's dope. I love it. Hey yo! Alright! <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot, man. Save me? You can't even save yourself! Ah! <laughs> I really wish we had more time to establish 
and keep your story, you know? Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, it's the droid! Now her armor is overloading. Yeah, she's gone, bro. Don't destroy that thing as quickly as possible. It will kill her. If I use the power of the ship's propulsion system, then it just might. Yeah, I swear, droids are the real MVP of this universe. I'm just not sure if I'll be able to try something so reckless. Oh shoot! Oh, he's gonna do it for you. <laughs> there is no try, only do. I can make this. Oh, I don't think he says that. <laughs> Kind of bothers me that they kind of mixed up the saying, you know? <laughs> oh shoot! He's shredding it up. I love it. Oh, uh, okay, it worked. Are those Jawas I hear? Oh, she is my twin sister. All right. All right, guys. So um, that's episode three, and I want to hear what you guys have to say personally. I don't know, I want you guys to rank all of them. For some reason, that one I had some trouble getting into as much as I did with the other ones, but I still enjoyed it. Definitely want to hear your thoughts, though. Rank all the episodes, or just the first three if that's all you've watched. But yeah, I'm excited to hear hear your thoughts. I mean, just go nuts. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty unique. I feel like the twin storyline was pretty pretty different, and I liked it. One thing that it remi reminded me of with, uh, was, uh, what game was it? Um... I don't know if you guys seen the cinematics for, I don't want to say it was Knights of the Old Republic. I can't remember what it was. Why am I struggling so much with this? Uh, we had a little cinematic with the twins and yada yada yada. It just looked really, really cool. I mean, it was just, that's the one thing that reminded me of. And uh, I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. But hopefully we can see some other series that are a little more insane like this. Like I said, they're only like 20 minutes long, 15 minutes long. And this one um, seemed very, very like Star Wars, like, you know, oriented, if that makes sense. Like it was just like felt like a Star Wars story. The first one had that that same vibe to it, but it also, you know, took, you know, just felt like it was uh, from like an older, old, uh, old movie or just, it just, you know, it was taking uh, from, you know, another culture, which was really, really cool to see. I, I'm trying to word this correctly. I don't know how to say it, but um, like this one felt more, more Star Wars, you know what I'm saying? Where the other one just, you know, it, was, it had uh, other vibe to it, which was still probably my favorite episode, episode one, but it was still, it was, you know, different. And then the second one had that whole rock style to it, which was also different, which I didn't mind. It was just, you know, different. But this had, like, I feel like the most Star Wars vibe to it. I don't know if I'm coming off as making sense, but that's just how I'm feeling. But anyways, the full reactions will be on Patreon. Uh, remember, follow my socials over here. All the support does help. You guys have been awesome, and I really appreciate all of you. So, again, if you're new, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. Peace out. If we looking for you, we finding you. If we looking for you, we finding you. If they looking for you, they find you. Whoa. And ain't no other way to stop it. I got like 20,000 in my pocket. Catch me in Houston, boring like the Rockets. If you the plug, I pull you out the socket. I do my dance, making a deposit. I'm feeling trendy. This ain't true religion, this is Fendi. Need 100,000 on the